the next thing I want to talk about is something that applies across the board to different types of collecting communities. Now, of course, these first two episodes, we've been talking about your autograph collecting. We've talked about collecting in, in different types of ways and what sending in photos for private signings or ordering items um, through a pre-order for a private signing, all those different things. But what I'm going to talk about applies not just to autograph collecting, but to comic book collecting. It applies to one six scale figure collecting. It applies to anything that you may think of. Now, I don't personally, I'm not into sports. I don't have any knowledge of sports or sports collecting, but it applies to that as well because any type of collecting and what that is, is integrity. So you're probably thinking right now, okay, in what way are you talking about integrity? What part of that is this conversation going where what direction is that going in and what i'm saying here is it's very important to keep your integrity within your collecting community because at the end of the day your reputation is what precedes you is the thing that follows you for the rest of your life now think of it the same way as if you are working in a any type of work field. So your normal day-to-day -day, nine to five job. So let's say you're working in a financial setting or you're working in a educational setting or you're a doctor or anything that you're working just a kind of straightforward what we would be considered a normal job. In those cases, you think about it, how important your integrity is to you and to the people that you work with and the people that you serve. Because whatever your reputation is allows you to either continue to move up in a company, allows you to, if you're working with customers one-on-one, -on -one, allows you to get more business and allows people to spread the word on that you're someone that they want to work with, someone that they want to associate with, and someone that is important, and somebody that needs to be listened to. The same thing applies when it comes to collecting. Because if you are someone who is actively a part of the community, whichever community that may be, once again, autographs, sports collecting, um, whether that be music or even your figures or comic books, any of those things. If you're a major part of that community, community and you're active in that community, you are going to eventually get a reputation because if you are actively going around and not being so nice to people, if you're complaining a lot, if you are making baseless accusations against people or companies, um, if you are going out and doing things um, that may harm people. So let's say you're an in-person autograph collector uh, and you are out there and you are looking to get somebody on the street, a celebrity on the street to sign some photos that you have. It goes a long way that maybe it's not guaranteed that, of course, those items are going to get signed. But it will help out your case if you're kind to that person that you're looking to get those pieces to. It may take a little bit of a push, not a physical push, but a little bit of a push and a little bit of more determination to be able to get in front of maybe some other people who are a little more kind of forceful uh, around you at an event, let's say if it's in person. But they're going to remember those people who were kind to them at the end of the day. And then those other people who have the reputation of being rude and nasty, calling celebrities names, say, screaming at them, 
or in some cases, there's been extreme circumstances where they've pushed celebrities or celebrities' bodyguards or even just people around them. They become violent and physical. Those people are going to be on the radar of those celebrities and the people around them, but for all the wrong reasons. Same thing applies to, let's say, a more controlled environment of a convention. Now, that you're not getting a free autograph on the street. You're waiting in a line, and then you wait your turn and go up to a table, pay your price, or provide your prepaid ticket, and get your item signed, whether that be a photo or something else. I always thought that kindness, once again, goes a long way. Biggest story I like to tell is... Erin Moriarty, she plays Starlight on the TV show The Boys. She did a signing at New York Comic Con, I think it was two years ago. Yes, it was 2021. So that was the first year back uh, to New York Comic Con after not having one in 2020. The cast of The Boys was going to be there, and I was going one by one and getting each of those actors that were there uh, to sign individual 8x10s. There was this kind of speech going on between all the people standing in line um, that she was really nasty, that she wouldn't look at anybody, um, that she was being very short and kind of straightforward and just kind of in a bad mood. Uh, And I just kept hearing that as I was waiting in these different lines, because all these people were getting the same actors. They're all talking about that and sharing that information. Now we get up to her table. So it's me and my wife. We get up to that table and we already heard the stories. We hand her over the photo that she's going to sign. And all we do is look at her and say, how's your day? How's your day been going? It's so nice to meet you. And she looked up, smiled at us like she was amazed that somebody actually asked how she's doing. And she said, oh, I'm fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. How are you? And we just said, oh, it, we're, we're doing great. We're happy to meet you. Thank you so much. She signed it. We said thank you again. And we walked off. It was that short and simple. But pretty much every person that, at least from what I saw from the people in front of me, I don't know anybody who came even before we got over there. But pretty much all those people didn't really treat her as a person, she kind of was just there as a signing machine. Um, and some people may have done it just because they're not used to it. They're not being malicious or uh, they're not being kind of rude on purpose. But it does take a, a lot to be kind and just ask somebody how they're doing. It's that simple. Some celebrities I've met, they're always cheery and they're happy, no matter what. No matter what type of people are on their line, they just have this energy that makes everything positive and happy and, and joyous. Um, like John Reese davies is one of those uh, for that comes to mind automatically. There's just people like that that are that are always very kind of joyous, no matter what. Uh, Hayden Christensen, who I've mentioned earlier, he, no matter how big his lines are, no long, matter how long he's there during the day. He's been so courteous and kind to me every the two times I've met him. Uh, and I hear that from everybody that's met him. So it's one of those things that he's just that's who he is. But there are other people that not every person is going to be this bubbly, happy person all the time, even though they might be contracted to be there. They might be having a bad day. They're human. So that's why I say that that's the biggest thing. But that's once again, going back to the integrity, going back to the reputation piece of this is that. You doing that, people will see that. Somebody will notice, at least one person, at least the person you're interacting with will notice that, and that will go a long way. They might not remember your name, but they may at the end of that day be like, oh, there was that person, there, or there was, were those people, those handful of people who said these nice things to me, who treated me kindly. And that is important. Like, that's a very important thing. Same thing applies now talk about your private signing. So there's no face-to-face interaction. There's none of that. When you're interacting with fellow collectors within a community. So let me actually bring this back a little bit. 
So we'll take it at a signing. Let's just talk about collecting communities in general. So one of the biggest things I've seen being a part of many different collector communities. So I've been a part of, of course, autograph collecting, comic book collecting, one six scale collecting, and even I dabble a little bit um, in vintage Disneyland uh, merchandise. So each of those individual communities, very different types of people, <laughs> very different types of collectors from various different backgrounds, different uh, social statuses, different types of money, all those different, all over the place um, with those. But at the end of the day, very similar because they all have the same problems. They all have the same things going on in their life, whether it be uh, the exact same thing or something similar. Uh, people are people. So very similar things come up uh, in those cases. And one thing I see a lot is collectors butting heads and arguing on who is better no one is better just because i have so and so item in my collection just because i may have certain amount of items i may have a, a certain amount of hot toys i might have a certain amount of autographs comic books any of those things just because I have those does not make me better than you. Does not make me better than anybody else that I come across with within any different collecting community or anybody else on this planet. I collect what I love because I love it. Because it brings me joy. It brings me a connection to those pieces of media that I grew up with or the pieces of media that I have made a connection with or brings me a connection to friends and family, loved ones, uh, any of those different things. That's why I collect on any of the different things I collect. There's something associated to it on a positive sense that brings it together. It's not because I'm actively trying to be better than someone. And that's where your reputation comes into it. I think the most the best thing that you can do is share your knowledge with other collectors. Now, you may not be the most versed person in a specific topic than other people. I'm not saying that I know more than anyone else. I don't. Every day I am learning. Every day I learn something new. I have friends who have been collecting for almost 40 years or close to it. And collectively, if I take everybody I know, they've been collecting for 50 plus years of things. So their experience, their life experience, no matter what their age or what they've collected or any of those types of things, their experience is going to have things that are very different than my life experience at this point in my life. But what I have learned up to this point in my life I think it's important to share that with other people. And that's your kind of, at the end of the day, when somebody looks back on you and your interaction with them, what do you want them to leave with? Do you want them to think, oh, wow, that person was a jerk because all they did was talk about how I should have done this or I should have done that. I should have... I, why are you collecting that? That's dumb. You shouldn't collect that. You should collect this. You should do these things. Collect what you love. That's at the end of the day. Biggest thing, little asterisks that I do want to put on that though, is collect smartly too. You can get something signed that you love no matter what that is, you can buy a toy, you can buy a sports card, any of those different things that you love. But you need to think too, on a smart sense, use your brain for that, is that think about, okay, how is this going to look? Where is it going to go in my collection? And... Does this make sense? 
if you can go through each of those things in your brain and you still think to yourself, you know what? I still want that. I still love that. I thought those things go for it, go for it. Like that's, that's your thing. That's your passion. That's what you want to do. So that's what you need to really think about when it comes to that. It's really thinking and using the resources that you have available of don't be afraid to reach out to someone and say, hey, like, what's your thoughts on this? Or, hey, uh, oh, I just got this in. Um, can you take a look at this? Or any of those different types of things of just sharing just sharing it with the community. It's as simple as like going in a Facebook community group, like Star Wars Autograph Universe or uh, Autograph Universe, going in there and posting what autographs you just got in the collection, saying, oh, look at this. This came in. I love it so much. I love this. Share that. We want to see that positive energy of what you got in the collection. Any of those other groups, look at this amazing figure I just got. Look at this card that came in. It came in at a gem mint uh, grade. It looks amazing. I love this. Um, I was able to find that Pokemon card that I've always wanted. I, I've wanted it since I was a kid. And here it is. Share that. Continue to put out that positive energy into the world. And that will take that little community and add that little bit of extra energy in there because it is so easy to fall into complaining about things. It's so easy to attack a person and say, hey, you're wrong. That's dumb. Don't do that. It's so easy to do that. It's harder to give somebody some positive reinforcement to go out there and say, oh, that's great. Or say, hey, look at this. This is so, I'm so excited about this. It's harder to do that. So be that positive change. Be that person that goes out there and is like, oh, wow. Okay, fantastic. This is amazing. So that is really the whole thing of this integrity with this reputation. You may go out there and join different communities and see uh, people talking about different companies or different situations and saying negative things about different people or companies. But don't take everything that you hear as that's what it is. Because those people's reputation may be that that's what they always do is they always go to complain. They always have something negative. They never have anything nice to say. So take that with a grain of salt. Now, it may eventually become true, uh, depending on which collecting community you're in. Uh, it could be anybody. Um, but move towards, do your research, really see what's going on, and talk to other people and engage in those communities that you're in. And you'll learn more that way by engaging. Instead of just viewing from afar, if you engage in it, then you can really understand what's going on and where a lot of this kind of uh, different information and different things are going on and get the story of, of what's going on with those. But start always with your integrity, with your reputation and sticking to that positive energy being presented in any of those different collecting communities that you may be a part of. That's just one of the things that I really wanted to focus on today and go over and talk a little bit more. It's something I think about a lot. Uh, I know that I've kind of just rambled on about it and hopefully it made sense um, for those of you who are listening or for those of you who are watching. Um, and hopefully you get a little bit of understanding out of that and a little bit of kind of thought process of, of how we're running things here at Brandeo Collection and kind of my thoughts on on what we want to do and, and what type of... Um, atmosphere and what type of lesson we want to bring to to everybody out there in the community and and bring that together use the word literally community um that culture that community together uh to, to build something really really great um for everyone <laughs>